Hey guys, welcome back to another Dollar Tree shop with me. So I found these Wi-Fi chalkboards, which I just think are adorable. I think I like the heart ones better, but these are a little more neutral and they're still really cute. And honestly, they're super useful. So I love mine. I have the heart one. They also had these like little coffee bar signs. And then this one said home sweet home. I thought the coffee one was super fun and then i posted all these magnets on my dollar tree instagram go follow me on there it's at dollar tree dolly i will put the name down below and everyone was freaking out when i posted these magnets because they're just adorable and like kitschy and cute so that one said i love you s'more my favorite one i think was the taco one but they have like the cutest magnets ever and no one can tell me different. I love the Dollar Tree magnets. They also had these adorable little jewelry plates. That one said Queen Bee. And that one said, you're awesome. Like a little chat bubble. These were so cool. They're these Space Saver name brand hangers. So you can hang multiple clothes on them and save space. So really great find. This is something that definitely goes quickly. So if you see it, snatch it up because the name brand stuff does sell out. I just thought these socks were super cute. I love anything with hearts. And I found the Maybelline Snap Scara. This is in a bunch of different colors like blue and violet. And then I loved this color. It's like a black cherry. So I will be testing those out very soon for you guys. Very cool find. These baskets were like my favorite. They had these laser print lace detail on them. So they came in white and pink. These are also very hard to find, unfortunately. Um, but this one was super cute. I had only found them at this one store. These would be great for palettes too, like eyeshadow palettes or just any makeup or books. But I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. I picked up a couple of these because I could not resist. I also loved the fun springy colors like this coral so pretty and here's just like an overview of what they looked like at my store i found randomly this maybelline lasting drama eyeliner this was a dupe for the tarte paint liner i also found this green hard candy eyeliner so two pretty cool name brand finds right here Here is another store I went to, Hard Candy Sensitive Skin Primer. This store had a ton of finds, and this has great reviews as well. So I definitely picked this up to test out in a future makeup video for you guys, testing $1 makeup. And I already tried this, and spoiler alert, it's really good. Okay, this was another great name brand find. I found these Thicker Fuller Hair Strengthening Shampoos. So this one, the lady at the register told me these also go really quick because it is a name brand, but these retail for over like $10. They have quinoa and biotin. And then I also found the thicker fuller hair scalp tonic with quinoa. So these are supposed to help if you have thinning hair. And a lot of my followers on Instagram told me that it actually does really work. So I thought this was a great find, but again, this is definitely something that's a little harder to find. I know a few people have found it as well. They also had these Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Gel Masks, which I thought was so cool. I love the Hydro Boost line. And again, a lot of people told me that they really love these little pods and you can leave them on overnight and it doesn't like make your pillow wet or anything. I also found the Hard Candy Long Wear Primer. I think I picked this one up as well. I will have a haul coming soon because I can't remember everything because I go to so many stores. This is the Hard Candy Defend Sheer Envy Setting Spray with charcoal. I thought this was really interesting too. I will definitely test this one out as well. I am just loving all these Hard Candy finds. So if you don't know, Hard Candy is a Walmart brand and some things can range from $5, $6, $10. Tons of Julie G nail polishes. So if you guys don't know who Julie G is, she is like an OG beauty YouTuber who I used to watch all the time. She doesn't make videos anymore, but she had a nail polish line with Jessie's Girl at, I think it was Rite Aid. So now they're selling them in two packs and I love that glitter shade and that green. So pretty. So if you love nail polish, check these out. And then this was another little pack. I also found a new peanut butter at Dollar Tree, which I thought was pretty cool. So I wanted to share that with you guys. The brand is Utopia. This should be showing up at most stores now because I have seen it at a few stores. More hard candy. I found their bold black mascara. 
and it was like a big brush. I also found Jessie's Girl brand nail polishes, a couple duo sets. I found the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion. This was in yellow to color correct. Great find. Also loving this Wet n Wild Stick Foundation find. Such a good foundation. I found Vanilla Beige, Shell Bisque, a couple of the shades that I found. So I really thought that was awesome. I found a Wet n Wild green eyeshadow. The shade is called Envy. This is a single eyeshadow. The Liquid Catsuit lipstick from Wet n Wild in a very dark black color. All right, I went to another store and I found the cutest sunglasses. So these were actually like a name brand. And then these are actually a dupe for the Ray-Ban Clubmaster. I popped up a picture so you guys could see how crazy is that. They also had adorable heart sunglasses. So do not miss out on the Dollar Tree sunglasses. This is that same pair, but like a different pattern. I loved these. They're like a round aviator. More shades of the heart sunglasses. This pair was actually a name brand, so I wanted to share that with you. And then this was actually a dupe for the Key Australia sunglasses in Farah, which I showed right there on the side. I was so obsessed with these. I bought them and they are so cute. I found the Hard Candy color correcting primer. There's like tons of different primers from Hard Candy. I think they changed their packaging, so that's probably why they're at Dollar Tree. So I am excited about that one. That is like a, I think a green primer to color crack redness. More Julie G nail polishes. They have so many different packs. I really liked that like minty blue color. And then this was more of a pink orange pack. The Wet n Wild liquid eyeshadows. I thought this was another great find. It was like a charcoal sparkle. I found the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks. This was a really great find. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in All Glown Up. I talked about these in my last video, but these are so, so good. And I just can't believe these are at Dollar Tree. Tie-dye scrunchies. This was actually the first store I found these at, and it actually came in a two-pack, and they had a lot of different color patterns to choose from. More hard candy. This is the Primer Mist. So this is the hydrating version with coconut. And this is supposed to be amazing. Like I always look at the reviews when I'm at the store and everyone was saying how good this was. And it's actually like a dupe for MAC Fix Plus. And it does leave that kind of like dewy glow on your skin. So I also picked that one up and the lady at the register was like, these are selling out like crazy. Okay, I found these adorable Easter little candy like thingies so they actually were working I showed you guys there what they looked like C candy gumball machines that's the word I was looking for and you can only fit like something small in there like you can't fit like an actual gumball but something small would fit in there like a tic tac kind of size so they had a bunny and an egg super adorable they had in the craft section these metal tags I thought these were really fun and these were also new because I had never seen them before so they had a few different shapes to choose from. This is just a like paper pack of random scraps of paper, which I thought was pretty neat. Okay, the book section of Dollar Tree is amazing. So I find so many cookbooks there. Like this one I thought was really fun. And I love these. There's like so many options to choose from and you can really stock up your kitchen with some nice recipe books from Dollar Tree and they're all brand new. This was a really cool one. It's an Italian cooking school desserts book, which I was so interested in because I'm Italian. So I thought this was such an interesting find. This was another one. It was 200 recipes under 200 calories. So I'm just showing you guys some recipes. So you can kind of get an idea of what the book looked like. This was another fun one. Create your own online store in a weekend. I was like literally in the aisle for about an hour just like reading these books and it was so much fun so they have like different ways you can create an amazon store an ebay store your own website so super useful if you want to get into e-commerce so here's just a couple of the pages so you can kind of get an idea so see if your store has these Another favorite find was this 365 or 365 days vegan smoothies. And this was chock full of amazing smoothie combos. I loved this book. And um, 
the base of all these is basically like a uh, milk so you can use almond milk oat milk whatever is your favorite and then just add whatever ingredients they suggest but i love smoothies so i definitely picked that book up this one was so cool the power of sprinkles and this was like a hardcover this is something you would find at like pottery barn or something for like twenty dollars and it was just all about sprinkles and cakes just like how cool are these book finds i feel like i really hit the jackpot with all of these and i was so excited to share my finds with you guys this was a i think she's like an australian uh model or something so jacinta campbell so this was just like a book on healthy eating and lifestyle uh working out makeup so just like a bunch of different things so i thought it was really cool i like books like that that are kind of like four in one back to the magnets they had these really cute ones that one that said sweet as can be was like one of my favorites and then that one that said sucka for you with all the succulents like so creative and funny dollar tree just they're having fun at their headquarters i can tell you that much <laughs> that one was like keep your positive pants on just really cute i always find different ones and then these are new patterns in the no touch key although a lot of people told me that these broke so just kind of know that going into it i found these new la colors brow cream gels which i was so excited about because i love brow gels so there were only like four colors but again i will test this out for you guys in my next makeup video so there's the display and then i finally found my favorite eye marker from la colors i could not find this for months this is like what i always use in my makeup videos for dollar tree so they also had a brown shade which I love and then they had a blue and then here are all the shades together definitely pick this up you guys if you love doing a winged liner the formula is so good and then I've talked about their perfumes before but they have some good ones this this is new can can by Paris Hilton dupe princess by Vera Wang dupe fantasy by Britney Spears dupe a lot of people I know use these for like bathroom sprays or car sprays I found this is from a, a Valentine's Day but People love these, the hot, cold iPads, and they're just adorable. So this was a refrigerator find, and let me tell you, it is so good, this Nikos name brand crumbled feta cheese. Me and Nick both really like this, and I'm like pretty picky with like my cheese and my food and things like that, but I would totally purchase this again. It was so good, especially like on a salad with cucumbers. Chef's kiss. Try it out, you guys. This was another amazing find in the refrigerator aisle, the Philadelphia whipped cream cheese in mixed berry. It wasn't expired or anything. I think it's good till like the end of the year, like next December. So good. I tried it on toast. Oh my gosh, it was delicious and I loved it. So you can even stock up and freeze it if you want to. I'm losing my voice. They had really cute Easter signs at this store. This one said, Happy Easter. This one said, This chicks are ready for Easter. And then this one said, Follow the bunny. He has the chocolate. <laughs> Just like some fun little signs. And then I loved these glitter eggs because I love glitter. New LA Colors Sunday lip balms. They had pineapple. I think that one was cherry, which I just love these like fun lip balm scents. And then they had these guys. One was um, chocolate and one was vanilla. And that was more like an EOS kind of style of lip balm. And then they also had orange and mint. So a lot of different flavors to choose from. Really cute for an Easter basket. I love these, the LA Colors Glow Sticks, because cream products are really in. And they have two different shades of the Glow Stick Blush. And then there's also two shades of the highlighter and these are so pretty there's definitely a little bit of glitter in them but they're very like dewy and pretty on the skin so pick these up if you can find them they're in a display which i will show you guys what the display looks like but even the packaging is just like super cute they don't have the longest lasting power i would definitely say here is what the display looks like really fun little find if you are trying to get into cream makeup how cute is this wash and dry board with little clips on it if you have a laundry room or you just want to hang it over like where your laundry is i think that would be absolutely adorable it's like a little washboard 
I loved this fine. This is a name brand, Gimme. And these are uh, shower scrunchies. So they're like literally made of like the material of a shower curtain to kind of retract like water droplets. So you, there's even a hook. There's three in a pack, which is amazing. You hang them up and you can use them like if you want to leave your conditioner in for like 10 minutes. Amazing. I found these clear stamps, which were so fun and new in the Crafter Square section. So check those out. And then Bolero has so much new stuff. They have this facial cleansing balm with honey. And I just love their line and their packaging. And I do think their ingredients are really good. I know fragrance is, people don't love it, but this is the banana cleansing milk. And it does have banana extract, coconut extract, niacinamide. This is the watermelon and papaya jelly face mask. Like how cute are these? I just think they look like something you would find at the drugstore. They did a really great job uh, like on the ingredients and everything. This is the pineapple and cucumber awakening eye cream. Just like lots of moisturizing ingredients. This one was cool. Hyaluronic acid and squalane milk serum with niacinamide. Like okay, Bolero. They are really crushing it with these ingredients and then they had some new face wipes which I just thought the packaging was adorable I don't use face wipes but I just had to admire the cute packaging <laughs> and they had a lot of different fun scents like jasmine and lime and these were coconut and eucalyptus it just really stands out when it's on the shelf They also had rose hip and tea tree, and this is supposed to tighten the pores. So each one had like um, its own claim. This was also another line they had, these hand therapy mists. So I guess it's like a moisturizing hand spray. And then they had this whole new line with a face toner, um, which I heard is a little drying. Um, so probably skip on that um and this is their jelly nutrient mist i don't love the jelly nutrient mist um and they also had this overnight detox cream and then they also had everything in that same line except bamboo and rose water was like the next one and they had lychee and coconut water and then this is another scent of the hand therapy mist raspberry and fresh mint which sounded really refreshing and then these were actually cleansing body wipes which i think would be good for like throwing in your gym bag and again with the super pretty packaging that's the display i found this quick drying makeup brush cleaner rinse free formula so i thought this was super cool there's some warning labels on the side here which i thought was pretty strange so now i'm like a little afraid to use it if anyone's tried it yet, let me know. Someone on my Instagram said it was like their holy grail, but I thought that was really cool. The brand was Bath & Beauty. You guys know I love my Ioni lashes, 3D mink lashes. They're amazing, and they have the, this new packaging. Um, this is the Wispy Full Dramatic. Just absolutely stunning lashes. And I also found name brand tweezers. This is a brand called House of Steel, and this was like a three-sided tweezer which was really cool so here's what it looked like and yeah name brand tweezers man this is really great trim is also a drugstore tool brand which is a name brand as well which means like not dollar tree brand when i say that some easter rugs these are so fun i loved this truck one because it was just like cute and farmhouse they also had this one that said happy easter and then this one said hoppy easter <laughs> they are more like on the thin side i wish they were that like thicker material but what are you gonna do this was one of my favorites i love the dollar tree greenery right now they have so many pretty options um i loved that one and then they also had this like leafy looking one which i will show you guys in a moment this one right here and they just look so pretty all put together very wildflower-esque this is such a cool find everyone was like loving this on my instagram as well these hexagon planters they're like so pretty and trendy and just kind of like boho and then they also had it in this white and gold so there was three different shades 
but the white and the gold was like so cute like how pretty are these for your plants so bolero had more new finds this is almond milk and agave hair mask i haven't tried their hair masks yet and then this is avocado oil and honey so definitely check these out and let me know what you guys think of these and now goody is actually at dollar tree they are a classic hair brand and we know claw clips are back in style so I was excited to see these. You can do tons of like really cute 90s hairstyles with these. And then these were like little name brand bows. These would be cute for like a little girl's hair. And then they have these new jelly spirals, which these were like really nice, heavy duty, thick quality, like very strong and sturdy. They have these new matte hair clips. So they have like the pink ones, but this is a new color and more new bolero this is crazy they have new sheet masks so we have charcoal and green tea hemp seed and avocado i love my sheet masks this is citrus and coconut water to glow and tighten pineapple glycolic acid which i thought was really cool Strawberry and vitamin C, that one was another favorite, and it had literally vitamin C and strawberry in there. They have some new water bottles at Dollar Tree, which are, I think are really chic looking and fun. They are BPA free, which is great. I'm so happy that they're putting that on the water bottles now, so we know, and just fun colors. And this was a new cute little water bottle as well. It said cold drinks, and they had blue white and green these are so fun they're double-sided magnets for your dishwasher so you know when they're clean and when they're dirty i've been wanting one of these so bad this one said his turn and her turn which was so cute i picked one of these up this one says dirty and clean how fun are these Okay, K-Beauty masks are all over my Dollar Tree, which I'm not mad about. They have these three-step masks with a cleanser, a serum, and the actual sheet mask. And this is a name brand as well. Okay, Beauty is sold at Ulta. This is another Okay Beauty mask. This is the Clarifying Pink, Vi Pink Fizz T-Zone mask. This is the egg white sheet mask for glowing skin. And these are all made in Korea. They also had another three-step mask. This one had a buffing pad, a T-zone mask, and a face wash. This was like one of my favorites, these gemstone mini masks. I thought these were so fun and cute and unique and good for like targeting different areas of your face. They also had this amazing tech neck mask, which I definitely purchased because that's something that I'm concerned about this day and age. Um, so I want to try that out for you guys. They had a snail sheet mask as well from OK Beauty. And the packaging is just so fun and really stands out. peppermint leg masks. I thought these were great, especially like after you do like a leg day workout and you just want to like sit and relax and take a load off they had this sunday rain body mask with charcoal and i also found this wet and wild eyeshadow pencil and that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed my huge dollar tree shop with me let me know if you found any of these items. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in my next video.